I think of a pastor. I also like to see myself as a model leader. Welcome to my YouTube channel. And I pray you will be blessed as you listen to this message right now. How are we going to get out through prophetic intervention? That's not a very easy answer because it sounds complex, it sounds complicated, but that's the only way for our land. I know you'll be asking me, how do we get out? Are you sure God isn't as shocked as we are? Are you sure God has not lost control of the earth? Are you sure God is not as confused as those that govern us? Some people may be thinking at this point in time that God may indeed be confused. God may indeed, maybe he has grown out of ideas. He's grown out of ideas. Who knows if God does not even know what to do. Has that ever crossed your mind? If it did, it's a horrible thought for you to even allow in the Christians of your hearts. For you to think that God may have lost control of the planet Earth, or maybe God does not know what to do anymore. Because sometimes when we see those that lead us, that they sound confused, they look bewildered, they are not sure which way to go, they're not sure what to profess, they're not sure about the solutions to the current predicament and pandemic in the Earth. And then the numbers are rising every day. Some are saying, oh, let's relax the rules. Let's make sure they use a face mask, social distancing. Let's just, we don't know what to do. People got to go to market, they got to eat. So we begin to think, how do we get out? Listen, listen, listen. God rules in the affairs of man. God is in absolute control. God, I repeat, is in absolute control. Number one, message number one for me is that God is in control, not man. Oh, you missed that. So God wants to show us, listen to me, that is in control of the whole world. He's got the whole world in his hands. Daniel chapter 4. Daniel told Nebuchadnezzar, the man that ruled over 127 or 137 provinces in the world. At some point, they called Nebuchadnezzar king of kings. In some Belshazzar ruled and thought my father, they called him king of kings because he had kings under his control, kings of nations. And he had to learn the tough way. The matter is by decree of the watchers and the demand of the word of the Holy Ones to the intent that the living may know, the living, the living out there may know. That what? The most high rules in the kingdom of men and give it to whomsoever he wills. God rules in the affairs of men. Lesson number one from the pandemic is that God, hey, is in control, not Trump, not China. Oh. The two biggest countries in the world fighting, God had to do Pause. You know when God pressed the pause, bu pause button and everybody's on pause. Trump, I want to steal you for a moment. China, with your strength, I want to stop your movement. And everybody's on pause. Lesson number one, God is in control. Lesson number two, which my father and the Lord said we're not learning. Can I tell you? God haunts the church. He said, I will build my church. And some of us pastors are still hungry. We're telling government, open my church. Why do you have to close my church? My church is not paying, taking tithes. My church, my church, my church, my church, my church. God owns the church. You may own the cathedral. I know you didn't hear that. You may own the buildings, but God owns the church. So God wants to tell you that I own the church. 
Now, look at me. The last couple of weeks we've not met in church. Are you saying God is not at the church anymore? Lesson number three, God wants us to know that he dwelleth not in temples made by hand. Oh God, that God does not dwell in temples made with human hands. For you and I are the temple of the Holy Ghost. That's what we preached. That's what we taught. That's what we advocated. How come the last three, four, five weeks we're fighting against our own very message? I thought we preached that we are the temple of the Holy Ghost. How come we're hungry that we are not meeting in the physical temples anymore? Are you saying the Holy Ghost is hungry? Is the Holy Ghost not inhabiting you and I anymore? The church exists with or without church buildings. We are not learning the lessons. We've been so magnified and deified that we've missed the people that come around us every week to bow before us. And so we're yearning to be idolized again. So we're not happy that those that serve us, worship us, idolize us, and deify us are not around us. We're asking, my God, let them open up our services for us so we can once again be served, worship, deified, idolized every week, bowed before. Because that's how we feed and feed the monster called ego on the inside of us. The monster called self need to be fed on a weekly basis by the teeming multitude of people that congregate around us every week, every hour, every second. The tons and scores of bodyguards around us with mist, with mist, with mist, all those things. Not that God has stopped being God. Not that God has stopped inhabiting our bodies as a temple of the Holy Ghost. But we have missed a few other things. Praise the Lord. But to get more of these videos, just click on the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you can get notified once the video is uploaded. Listen to me, folks. I like you to subscribe. Subscribe and guess what? Subscribe again. Thank you very much. I'll see you there.